I'm not going to manually shift this car. I'm just going to ease into the throttle because I don't want to spin these beautiful, expensive Michelin. So, okay, here we go. Hey, everybody, Jim from County Corvette. We got ourselves a decent November, early November day here, so we're doing some videos. I got this 2014 Laguna Blue tint coat and Kalahari convertible. It's a 2LT, really well optioned car. It has a mag ride. It has uh, the dual mode exhaust. When it was new, shortly thereafter, the original owner had a Edelbrock supercharger installed on it by a certified installer, which that's actually kind of important because that, that gave it a full warranty. It now has 37,000 miles, 37,847 to be exact. The car's driven. We've maintained it for years uh, since its second owner. And we just put Michelins on it not long ago. And the car's really well maintained. We had to, uh, we painted the bumper cover on it. There was some uh, curb rash that had occurred, but we did it here in our shop, so it's right. Just a, just a cool car. Now the hood, I, you know, that is not the stock hood either. If I recall, we had put that hood on it for him uh, when we did the bumper cover, because with this tin coat, you've got to blend it. So the car is a little semi-custom, but it's just a killer car. I love the color, uh, just me personally, and the Kalahari just sets it off, but it's just a great car for the money. This car was about 75 grand new with all the options. Uh, these were expensive options on this thing. The 2LT was in the $4,500 range, and the mag, uh, mag suspension, mag ride suspension, that was another 2,000 bucks. So really well optioned car, and then the the supercharger that was about nine or ten thousand to have that installed so this was this was a car that well optioned and uh, somebody spent some good money on it but it's a great value here uh you know nine years later these 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 are just great cars for the money so it is an automatic i don't know if i mentioned that and uh it's just a, it's a hoot to drive i did drive it and it, this thing really runs good but let's take it out show you what it can do okay we're going to let this thing start to get warm before we go. Uh, I like to do that with anything with superchargers. You've got extra boost there and uh, you want everything expanded. So we've got, uh, we've got that going. Now this car has, as part of that option package, it does have a uh, power top and just really nicely equipped car. Um, there's very little wear and tear on the car, but I have noticed the, the passenger's door panel, not so much the driver's, has some slight delamination. That was a problem. I want to address that. Uh, you may not even notice it, but you start to see, you know, like, four, they start to bubble a little bit sometimes. And, uh, you know, it starts, it, it, it happens. They did a great job with these interiors. Um, but that, I've seen that with some of the dashes. Now this dash looks great, there's no issues there, but I did notice it in that door panel. And, and you know, oddly it's not on this one, but the uh, this car really does appear excellent overall. The uh, paint, interior, everything really does look good. So that's really the only, the only, uh, the only thing that I saw on the car that, you know, demonstrated any, any uh, visible wear and tear and that's that's a delamination thing it's not even wear and tear whatever glue they used uh, on that one didn't uh, didn't work as well as the other areas so I like to point that stuff out with people um, I don't like uh, people getting a car and you know getting any surprises again you may not even notice it but something worth uh, worth pointing out now, the hood uh, is a little higher, so it doesn't obscure the view at all. It's not like an L88 <laughs> 69. Uh, sometimes I have some trouble seeing over them, actually. But this, this car is, uh, it's really well laid out. And, and I just do love all the options in this thing. In 14, this thing was a, this was a killer car when it was new. Now the Interblock Supercharger really doesn't change the driving dynamic until you really start to uh, build up some, some RPM. Uh, you know, you'll feel some additional torque early on, but you know, once you, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll feel that 
um, I felt it was around upper 2000s when you really start to feel it. But then, and then as the RPMs grow, it makes more boost, and it's just, uh, it really, it really is, is uh, it's a cool thing. It makes makes a big difference. So, the Kalahari, it's, it's, it's not the entire interior. It's just the, the, the seats and parts of the door panels, you know, which is kind of nice. It, it, it's still, you still have uh, black carpets that don't get trashed, black steering wheel, etc. And they had variants of that bike. You know, with the C7, they really were providing a lot more options. We did maintain this car from the prior owner, and he was very meticulous in how he, he kept it maintenance wise. So there's no deferred maintenance on it, doesn't need anything. And you know, when there is deferred maintenance, we, we do it. Uh, I don't put cars out there that have a laundry list of uh, maintenance items. So this thing's in, in turnkey shape at this point. I'm not going to manually shift this car. We're just going to work, ease into the throttle because I don't want to spin these beautiful, expensive Michelin. So, okay, here we go. Yeah, so the carbon flash was actually an option on the original hood and the spoiler on this thing, so that dual mode exhaust were options that most people had on it. This one had a back. So this, this thing was well equipped. If you have an interest in this one, uh, give us a shout and uh, let us know how we can help you. Of course, we uh, take trades. Let us know what you have, and uh, we'll be happy to make a deal. Thanks for watching.